some street rappers make up all type of stories just for clout. But OMB Peasy really lived that life. He had a wild come up in Alabama. And last year, he got arrested for allegedly shooting at Roddy Rich and Fo2 Doug while they was filming a music video. This is the wild story of OMB Peasy. Peasy was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama. He stayed in the Orange Grove projects with his family and saw a lot of crazy stuff growing up. He started rapping at just eight years old and had battles with his brother and cousin to see who could write the hardest bars. The first time he saw somebody die, Peasy was only nine. He was chilling at his crib with his brother and they homie. Peasy was playing rock band while his homie was on the couch behind him playing with a shotgun. The shotgun accidentally went off and Peasy turned around and saw his homie slumped over. When he was 12, Peasy moved to Sacramento with his mom. He told the fader, when I heard California, I automatically thought LA, palm trees, everybody friendly, money. But his family ain't had much, so the trip out there wasn't easy. He said, we drove to California in a stolen U-Haul van, eight or nine thick in there, hot, with a box full of snacks and a long couch in the back for three days, all the way there. Living in Mobile taught Peasy how to move in the streets. He said, Mobile part of the struggle. We don't have too much of nothing unless you getting it out the streets. Like growing up down in that mother it was normal. You win that shit. You know an alternative till you see different. Before he moved to Sacramento, PZ thought it was gonna be different out there. But he started doing the same stuff he was doing back in Mobile and got in trouble from the jump. At first, he was just fighting and robbing people at school. Then he got booked in juvie on a robbery charge. PZ used to steal clothes before school so he'd have a fresh fit for the day. But it caught up to him and he ended up getting arrested. When he was 14, PZ almost caught a Grand Theft Auto charge after he stole a golf cart with his homie. Luckily, the charge got reduced, but by this point, the cops already knew who he was. PZ was always into music, but around 17, he started taking it seriously. He popped off with the track Lay Down in 2016, and in 2017, he linked up with E-40 and signed to a sick with record label. Later that year, he also signed a deal with 300 Entertainment, and his career leveled up. PZ hustled in the rap game for a couple years and built a solid fan base, but in 2019, he almost got killed in his hometown after a show. In March 2019, PZ opened up for Boosie Badass and Mobile. Everything was cool at the show, but the after party was where it really turned up. A huge fight broke out at some point during the party, and PZ saw a dude dressed just like him stomping another dude out. PZ and his homies decided to shake before things got worse, but when they got outside, somebody started shooting and hit him in the foot. According to PZ, he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He thinks the shooter was trying to get to the other dude who had the same outfit, and PZ was just unlucky that night. He told Say Cheese that the cops actually laughed at him when he pulled up on the scene. And after he got to the hospital, they sat him in a room with no painkillers for like three hours before anyone treated him. He hopped on IG and told his fans, shot me. At first, nobody knew what was going on, but his reps told everyone he was good. After he got out of the hospital, PZ let everyone know he wasn't gonna let it slow him down. He tweeted, thank y'all for the support and prayers. They try to take a out, but I'm still standing. That's my testimony. Starting a thread for anybody who been through some real shit. Reply with a hashtag testimony. Luckily, he got out of the situation a lot. But a couple months later, rumors started flying that PZ got his chain snatched. In June 2019, PZ performed at the OKC Summerfest in Oklahoma City. At some point during his set, he ended up in the crowd and somebody allegedly snatched his chain. Later, a dude wearing a mask hopped on social media and took credit for it. He said, we was out of there. So I walked up and I was like, we got your chain. Bro, he was scared. Bro, cause he didn't have a security. He didn't have a security. So he didn't say nothing. PZ hopped on his IG story later and said it was all cap. He said, if a don't know shit, a know what it is with me. Last year, PZ did an interview with Vlad TV and explained what went down. According to him, he had a piece on a hollow rope, but the rope wasn't strong enough to hold it, and it broke while PZ was crowd surfing. I had a hollow rope, and my piece was too heavy for my rope, so I'm jumping in a crowd, and my shit broke. You feel me? He told Vlad that he just started punching everyone around him because his chain was getting stepped on, and then somebody snatched it off the ground before he could get it. You feel me? My damn, they could feel it every time they step on my chain. You feel me? So I fled, shot, I get to punching everybody around me. After building a buzz in the industry, PZ switched up how he moved and tried to avoid any situations with the police. But in March 2021, he got hit with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime for allegedly shooting at Fo2 Doug and Roddy Rich. On February 21st, Rich and Doug were shooting a music video in Atlanta when someone started letting off shots. 
Doug and Rich ain't get hit, but two other dudes got shot and had to be taken to the hospital. Peasy met Doug and Rich the day they were shooting the video, but he had no idea the cops was coming for him. After he posted bail, he told Hip Hop DX, I was just trying to figure out what the f was going on. Why the police at my door? Because if I did anything, I would have been gone. If I was guilty of anything, you wouldn't have called me at my motherfucking house. Straight the f up. Rumors started going around that Peasy was beefing with Roddy Rich and Fo2 Doug, but he said, I don't have no smoke with Roddy Rich. I don't have no smoke with Fo2 Doug. Nobody from CMG, no none of that. They love me over there in Roddy Rich hood. I love them back too. But you know, the internet will try to run with it and try to make their own story and shit. But I don't have no problem with them people and they don't have no problem with me. Luckily, Peasy ended up beating the case this year, but that wasn't the only shooting he was allegedly involved with in 2021. One of Peasy's homies from Mobile is a rapper named Honeycomb Brazy. Honeycomb is a wild dude who shot his own cousin and went to prison at just 13 years old. He's been in and out of jail his whole life. And last year, his grandparents were tragically killed by his ops. On February 17, 2021, Brazy's grandparents' home got lit up by two shooters. Neighbors say they heard over 100 shots going off. Then an explosion inside made the whole house go up in flames. The shooters hit an oxygen tank, which is what blew up and sparked the fire. Three dudes named Terrence Watkins, Jamarcus Chambers, and Patrick Lewis was arrested for the brutal killing. And now, OMB Peasy's name is getting brought up in court too. An assistant DA named Lewis Walker says the shooting went down because Peasy dissed Watkins on a Facebook post. The situation is tragic, but Peasy hopped online to defend himself. He said, I wasn't even gonna post this shit, but this shit ain't cool at all. Them niggas don't want me to ball, so they trying to throw my name in something. They know it's over for them, so they trying to take me with them. P.S. I don't got no beef for nobody, especially the police. P.Z. has talked about how the media loves negative attention before. He's always giving back to the community and trying to help people out, but he says the positive stuff always gets overlooked. Back when the news broke about the music video shooting, P.Z. had just gave away $20,000 worth of toys, but the media never showed that side of him. It don't seem likely that Brazy's grandparents got killed over a post from P.Z. Brazy has all kinds of beef in Mobile. Darren Southall is a drug lord who admitted to making around $24 million off of cocaine and heroin. Southall ended up getting booked for the murder of Brazy's grandparents too. According to the cops, the other dudes in the case all worked for him and sold drugs too. Southall's already facing over 30 years on drug charges, so if he goes down for the murder, he'll end up in prison for life. OMB Peasy is also having issues with another rapper from Mobile named No Cap. Back in August, he went on community podcast and called him a but he didn't air out what was going on behind the scenes. Hey, what is he? Is he, he is he ops or is he homies? He's I don't know. Is he ops? He's a <laughs> Oh shit, what well, is <laughs> PZ and No Cap have tracks together, but obviously something went down and started the beef. No Cap clapped back on IG and said, they leave it in the interviews, I leave it in the streets with an orange heart emoji. The orange heart represents the Orange Grove projects where PZ came up. So No Cap was letting everyone know who he was talking about. No Cap is also close to NBA Youngboy and signed to his Never Broke Again label a few years ago. Youngboy and PZ had collabed before too, but if the beef is for real, Youngboy would probably side with his artists. PZ said he's still rocking with Youngboy, but if the situation heats up, that could definitely change. Hopefully, they let the drama slide and get back to making music. There's not a lot of rappers popping off from Mobile, so PZ and No Cap can link back up and really put on for the city if they squash the beat. PZ had a wild come up and a lot of close calls, but he's obviously trying to leave the streets behind and make it in the rap game. Luckily, he beat the gun charges he got booked on last year, so now he can focus on the music.